All right, everyone. Welcome back to the Ohio Bobcats Coaches Show with Jeff Bowles. Coach, we just found out that you guys are going to have to have a game six days from now next Tuesday. First time since the break. What do you have to do now to prepare for all of these games coming up? Yeah, so, you know, number one, it's good to be back. Um, we uh, still haven't don't have everyone cleared um, to be able to play or practice. And, um, you know, I think, you know, there's got to be a build up to, you know, conditioning piece to get back into rhythm. And, you know, I don't think that'll come, you know, anytime soon. You know, most of our guys have not done anything for 14 days, you know, some a little bit longer. And uh, so I think the biggest thing is just trying to, you know, get back into the swing of things. How do you do that with the amount, the volume of games that you have? Because it's basically like game, no game, game. Every other day is going to be a game now throughout the rest of the season until the MAC tournament. Yeah, I don't think, you know, it's not ideal. I don't think from a health standpoint from playing that many games in that short amount of games. But, you know, the MAC, um, you know, told us that's when we're playing. And, you know, to have three games in five days, five games in 11 days, you know, I think we, we just got to, you know, figure out how we're going to do it. Uh, stay positive and uh, you know we always talk about control what we can control and and uh, hopefully you know when we get to that point um, you know we do it safely and and uh, you know figure out who we're going to have. From a coaching standpoint it's kind of uncharted waters of, of having a team and you guys build up throughout the rest of the season and it, it seems like it's getting better and better and then bam it stops and then you guys have to re-up again. What do you do? Do you, do you continue doing what you were doing? Do you have to kind of change stuff a little bit? How do you how do you attack what's happening right now? Yeah, I mean, the last uh, you know week and a half has been a lot of phone calls, a lot of FaceTime, a lot of text messages, you know, making sure our guys are okay. Mm -hmm. They have what they need. Um, and, you know, some of the guys went home, some of the guys were in the dorm. So we, we had a little bit of everything going on. And mm -hmm. I think now, you know, getting back to where we were, um, you know, is going to take, you know, I don't know how long. You know, I've never been through it. A lot of coaches I talk to, um, you know, say – that it doesn't come back right away. Yeah. Uh, you know, the conditioning piece obviously is going to be big. And, uh, you know, like I said, we haven't done anything since the Central Michigan game. You know, no mm -hmm. practice, no no nothing. And, you know, today will be the first time that we do something with a, a few of our guys. And, uh, you know, it'll be good to get them back in the gym and, and just you know, get a ball in their hands and, and uh, get back going. What do you hear from them, what they're looking forward to, to most getting back to doing? I think just, you know, a routine. And, you know, it's, it's tough on everyone. And, and if you look at the course of the season, you know, there's been teams that have been a lot worse off than we have been. And, you know, we talked about before, you know, this is our first incident in, in seven months, you know, dating back to July. And um, so, you know, we got to be grateful for, you know, our health, number one. Number two, uh, being a, uh, able to be able to play and, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, go day by day. Just take us through the MAC tournament this year because it's obviously it, it's it's slimmed down a little bit with the way that they're handling things. How do you approach not only playing the rest of these games, but now it's even a smaller field that gets into this tournament? Yeah, I think you know in our league, if you look at it, you know it, those three days are what matters, and you know our our big thing is really focusing on March 11th. You know, making sure our guys are back to where we were before. You know, from a rhythm, a timing, a competitive standpoint. And, um, you know, so we have now until then to to kind of get back in the swing of things. And, you know, eight, eight teams are going to Cleveland and hopefully we'll be one of them. And, uh, you know, once you get up there, neutral court, you know, I think anything can happen. What do you hope to see from the guys pending you make the tournament, which you are slated to right now? What do you hope to see from them starting today when you do have a few of them back up until that March 11th date? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is, you know, don't look forward, you know, don't you know, let, let, let me think bigger picture and, you know, really, you know, the process of getting back to where we were, the mentality, right. And, you know, you have every built in excuse that you possibly, you know, could, could use, but we're not going to use those excuses. Like, you know, this is what the uh, event is now, what's our response going to be. And uh, we're going to come every day, work hard, try to get back to where we were. And uh, that'll be the biggest thing. I'm curious to get your take on this. This season, it's been one unlike any other, especially without fans there, with the way games have been scheduled. Just the season as a whole, pauses happening. I'm curious to get your take on, on why 12 out of the 13 winningest programs in college basketball history are not ranked at this point in the season. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely different. And I think for everybody, you know, coaches, you know, players, you know, staff, et cetera, 
you know, it, it's, it's all different and everyone's been through something, you know, whether it be everybody off for 14 days, half your team off, a couple of people off, you know, you're playing different lineups, you're doing different things. And, you know, what the student athletes are going through on a daily basis, I don't, I'm not sure that a normal person, a, a fan understands, you know, not only physically, but mentally and what these kids are going through. Hmm. Um, you know, the testing, the, you know, quarantining, uh, you know, just everything you have to go through is really the opposite of what, you know, student athlete experience is. And I give these student athletes across the country a lot of credit uh, for doing what they're doing just to be able to play. But, you know, for, for all those teams to you know, not be ranked, you know, I think some of it probably has to do with the pandemic. I think some of it probably has to do with, you know, the teams that they're playing. You look at the home court, you know, there's not a lot of home court advantage anymore because, you know, very few, you know, schools are allowing fans. And um, you know, I'd be interested to see the percentage of road wins across the country. Um, but, you know, it's, it's definitely a different year. If we look at the number one seeds across the board, you got Baylor, Villanova, Ohio State, and Michigan. What we see a lot of is senior leadership. We see a lot of chemistry, a lot of camaraderie, a lot of guys that are bought in because they've had a little bit of longevity of being there with the same team. How important is that? And do you think maybe – the pendulum is swinging back toward maybe not just one and dones, but how important it is to have a few key guys that have been there for a few years and guys that can mesh together and everybody knows their role and they're bought in to what the coach is asking them to do. Yeah, that's definitely, you know, key that veteran leadership guys who've been there and, you know, you look at any team, you know, whoever won the championship, even if they had one and dones on the roster, um, you know, they, they had some senior veteran three, four year guys that have been through it know what to do, know what to expect, and, and have helped guide those younger guys through, you know, the ups and downs of a season. And so I think definitely, you know, veteran leadership uh, is huge. Juniors and seniors in, in college basketball, you know, really are what win your championships. Well, Coach, I know I speak for a lot of uh, Ohio fans when they say we're looking forward to seeing you guys back out there on the 23rd against Akron, and uh, I'm sure you guys are itching to get back too. All right. Thanks, Justin. All right. Take care, Coach.